indulging at the gables. You underestimate the humans. You always did. They will outlive us. They are mindless ravagers who will destroy us and inherit the Nine Realms. I cannot allow that. They are capable of more than you know, and I will not help you bring about their ruin. Then you are a fool. Enter. Do not trouble to knock or announce yourself. Angrebola, I have traveled far to find you. And you are brave to darken my door alone. Where is my lover, the dark fox that slinks between my sheets? Loki has stayed in Asgard to help rebuild the damage from a recent attack. How generous. And entirely unlike him. You used to be much better at lying. I am not Loki's keeper. I've come to understand Jotnar magic, your method for moving Hugo from one body to another. The Mead? You seek the Mead? Hirokin! You have long outstayed your welcome. Then I will take my leave. But remember what I said, Angarbova. You will see things my way in time. Who was your visitor? She's powerful and cruel, and none of your concern. The mead she spoke of. Where can I find it? A slip of the tongue. Forget what you heard. Do not play games with me, witch. You would sell any truth for the right price. If one had the means to pay it. There is a root called Hag's Claw. It grows at the bottom of a waterfall to the south, at the forest's edge. Bring me three roots from the place where the Red Moss thrives. Then we will speak of the mead. I will hold you to it. This land hides its secrets well, but no secret is safe from me.
must be the Hag's Claw Angerborn I spoke of. A pungent root must be Hag's Claw. There should be more around. Turns my stomach. I have done as you asked. Now, where is my wisdom? Give it a moment to brew. There. An elixir to ready your spirit. How will this bring me the meat? It will open your mind to the secrets of the world. While we wait, let us speak of Asgard. How fared your defenses after the last attack? We, um... We have been weakened by treachery. Without time to rebuild, we... we may not withstand another attack. Wait. I, uh... I, I did not mean to say that. I... I feel... strange. Hexclaw has a way of untying the tongue. <laughs> now, you have said you want the mead, but how badly? How much would you sacrifice to be freed of fate's shackles? Would you give your tongue, your hand, your sight? I would. I would give all that, and more. I would like to see that. Loki, what trickery is this? I have sapped your strength, Javi. 
And I will take your life if your answers displease me. Did you think I would not come for you? After what you did to my son? Our son. Fenrir. A name I think you have heard before. Yes. In the final reckoning, the wolf Fenrir will be my doom. Now you know. Now you can no longer deceive. Tell me, what will you do with him? I want to kill him. But I cannot. I swore an oath to you, Loki, and I will not break it. I will not take his life. Fenrir will be imprisoned until the day of prophecy, when we will meet upon the field of battle, as we are fated to. Then we will bind you until that day, as you mean to bind our son. An eye for an eye. I see she let you live. You must have done something right. <laughs> let me help you down from there. No! 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 Wait! 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 No! You could have let me down gently. That would presume I cared for your comfort. Then why release me at all? For the same reason you are in Jotunheim. You seek the mead, and I can help you get it. I assume there is a price. I want a small sample for myself. The rest is yours. Fair? Do I have a choice? Of course you do not. The mead is kept by Sutungr and his daughter Gunlother in the vault at their home in Utgardr. The vault is opened only on occasion of a great feast, when Sutungur shares the bounty of his cellar. And it would be a poor host who did not throw a feast for a distinguished visitor. Say, the High One of Asgard. You are not as ox-witted as I feared. Why do you want the mead? My motives are not your business, as yours are not mine. All you need to do is get it. I must bring a mighty gift to Sutungar, if I am to earn my welcome. That idiot drunkard Agir recently lost his cauldron to Sutungar in a wager, but it disappeared on the way to Utgardr. Sutungar would be grateful indeed if I returned that cauldron to him. Seek the tree that wears the scars of the World Serpent Scales. The cauldron would have passed by there. You might also bring a gift for Gunlother. There are treasures that would flatter her in Thrymmer's house, by the lake near Utgardr. I have a golden circlet. Would this serve? That will do well. When you have the mead, join me at the Well of Mimir. There I will show you how to escape your doom at Ragnarok.
Something huge was dragged this way. dark so the cart would break a wheel. This was an ambush. If it was Agia's cauldron they dragged through here, it must be large indeed. If it was Agia's cauldron they dragged through here, it must be large indeed. Destruction leads towards that giant root. Animal blood. There's a trail. They slaughtered that animal for its innards and used them in their ritual. Likely the thieves employed this magic to hide their loot. The mitten of the great Jotun Skrimir dropped maybe the thieves took their burden inside. not be seen in this area.
sounds smaller than getting the measure of these illusions. This cauldron should be enough to win Sutungur's favor. See you, old friend. Do you see, Sunan? I 
If there is another life beyond this, I hope it is a better one. Stature, but great indeed. I am the one they call Javi, the High One of Asgard, and I come bearing a great gift. Your name is known to me, but what could mighty Sotungar want that a little thing like you can provide? Your great cauldron, stolen by Hemia's sons. Let this offering be a beginning to the end of our such a small thing, yet so much deeper than it seems. Appearances can be deceiving, can they not? <laughs> well spoken, Harvey. Our people may be enemies, but you have earned your welcome here. Thralls, an honored guest has come. Prepare a feast! I hope also to meet your daughter, Gunluda. I have heard much of her skill in the mystical arts. She will be toiling at her work, as ever. But be forewarned, she shuns the company of others. I could summon her to the feast if you like. We might discuss matters of alchemy on the way. That would please me. You will find her in her grotto, up the path, within the circle of stones. Have a care, though. You are safe in my presence, but you wander Utgard at your peril. I will be discreet. And Harvey, be kind. Gunnlother is different from you and I. Gunloda, what is this place? Some time ago, we made powerful magic here. We sought to see all futures. But every road led to Ragnarok. Father does not visit here anymore. He sees no profit in it. But I am not yet ready to give up. You are Esir. I am. I have seen images of the future, heard the voices of those who will come after us. Voices from... in there? Yes. I leave them words. Little packets of possibility, waiting for unknown ears, many ages hence. What do these future voices say? They seek the wisdom of the past. They speak of things to come. But even they cannot turn the tide of Ragnarok. There is to be a feast in my honor, and your father sent me to fetch you. No, not yet. Listen. I want you to hear the voices. 
Are you there, Prophet? Can you hear me? Perhaps another day. Another thread. Come. We must not keep Father waiting. How can that surprise you? I haven't been outside in... Uh, I don't know how long. You are devoted to your work. Not my work, my response. Or the disaster bearing down on them. Someone must do something. We have long searched for a solution until the burden of it has bent my mind. I do not think as clearly as I once did. I've heard there's one method still untested. There is, but... To activate it would mean defiling our well of knowledge, from which all of Midgard drinks. There is no telling the change it would wreak on humankind. It would bring chaos at the least. And I do not wish to hurt them. Even if it means the death of all Jotna? We will find another way. We must. This land is quite beautiful. I had all but forgotten. Discoveries are kept. Such things would do great harm in the hands of evil people. No stone walls will defend us when Ragnarok comes. All we have built here will be swept away. there in that tower. Enchantment has seeped into its very walls. The wind and snow have gnawed that tower to the bone. Soon, we will knock it down. can say otherwise. And she, your gift stands in pride of place, brimming with freshly fermented mead. Enough for a hundred Jotnar and more. This is an unexpected honor. You have filled it already with mead from your vault, then? No need. It has filled itself. Such is the magic of the cauldron. Impressive. But what if it should run out of meat? Do you hear this? <laughs> Harvey fears he will drink us dry! 
My cauldron is deep, but my vault is deeper. Do not worry about my stores of mead. I have plenty to go around. Father, you know revelry does not suit me. Must I attend this feast? I have work to do. Your work can wait, my daughter. Take a moment, enjoy yourself. Father, we have very little time. Enjoy yourself. I insist. Harvey, the guests are uneasy. They see an Aesir, but they do not know you. Will you address them? I'm ready. Now, we will hear from our honored guest. The Lord of the Aesir has come in peace and brought us a mighty gift. I am Harvey, deft of tongue and quick of wits, here to spin you a tale. Your stories are wasted on them. They respect deeds, not hollow talk. You are all brothers and sisters to me. Do not be too familiar. Jotnar are slow to trust. I could go on, but who wants to hear words when there's meat and meat to be had? You know your audience well, it seems. Now we will drink deep and eat heartily. Let the feast begin! What can I do to get them to drink faster? What is the right food will inspire thirst. Avi! Show us your might! Beat the champion and we will drain our horns in your honor. Bring me this champion, and I will shine my knuckles on his jawbone. Behold! Do not mock me. I will not fight a withered old crone. <laughs> if you are too afraid to face her, well, that is that. If she is truly your champion, then so be it. I will try not to break her brittle bones, but I promise nothing. What right food. food. Inspire thirst. Perhaps the bank would be more suited to your strength. This is too strong for you. And one, no one has ever done that before. Drink to me then, as you promised you would. All of you, empty your horns for heavy. The mead is half gone. The Nagir's cauldron can't be drained. They beat the champion. Nobody's ever beaten the champion. Glum, and she has not touched a drop. You're not drinking, Gunlother. I do not care for it. Drink is the heron that steals away one's memory. Some would say it frees the spirit of worry. We call those people drunks. <laughs> I see your wit is as sharp as your intelligence. Wit? I was simply stating a truth. Let us play a game. Ask me some riddles. I will see if I can guess them. I enjoy a good riddle. How did you know? All great minds enjoy riddles. You fashion order from disorder, sense from nonsense. You have me at that. Very well, I will play. Give me an easy one to begin. Would that I had now what I had yesterday. Find out what that was. Mankind it mars, speech it hinders, yet speech it will inspire. It is ale, of course. 
A child could have solved that one. Would you like another? All right, I'm ready. Who is that shrill one who rides a hard road and has fared that way before? He kisses hard who has two mouths and goes only on gold. It is a hammer. Well done. I hope that wasn't just a guess. One more? I feel good about this one. Be prepared. This is the hardest yet. White-haired women, servants too, bore ale tub to the larder. No hand turned it, nor hammer beat it. But there, outside the islands, the upright one who made it. Snow on the trees. You have a poet's heart, but you should have used your mind. It was swans and eggs. Well, now the game is over. Have I raised your spirits at all? I feel a little better. You are kind to attend to me, Javi. Most have given up trying. Come, give it a try! What's the Maybe word? I should try the arm. Greetings, Harvey. Will you test your arm at archery? You must hit three targets in a handful of heartbeats. I can shoot the wings off a wasp. Ah, but can you do it while mead adult? Before each attempt, you must take a drink. Ha! <laughs> That's a condition I'll... Show me those targets. They take a drink and let fly! I need to empty that cauldron. Then Tutankha will open his vault. What's the second worst? Agir, mighty friend to the Asid. Are you not sorry to lose your cauldron? It was never mine by right. Thor won it from Hymir so he might feast in my hall. I only kept it on his behalf. And after that bloody business with Hymir's sons, well... I'd as soon be rid of it. I'll have no strife beneath my roof. The end of strife. I'll drink to that. And I'll drink to anything. Not so easy after supping at the brook of the cheer cup, huh? When you feel ready, take a drink and try again. Come, give it a try! What's the worst that can... They beat the champions? Is there any sweeter music than the clash of drinking horns? Somber souls will only sip at their drinking horns. Conjure us a tune to raise their spirits. We are keen, but my harp has been stolen. We cannot play without it. Who would steal a Songbringer's instrument? There was a group of children playing round us earlier, with mischief in their eyes. I will get your harp back, and then you will play. Thralls. Humans kept in bondage, bred to serve. Such is the fate of the lowly. In the kitchen. Out! They beat the champion? Nobody's ever beaten the champion. Hey. That half does not belong to you, little thief. You should give it back. What are you gonna do? Fight me for it? Why don't you give me a real challenge? All right. You want this hop? Go die from that me. Climb as high as you can, though. I want a big splash. Watch and learn. <laughs> Bet they won't do it. How many broken bones, you think? Fifty at least. Maybe a hundred. They have a hundred. There. 
Now give back the harp, so the musicians may play. Umius, Harry Balls! That was amazing! You must be half raven! Who taught you such language? Mother? Why? You return. Keen to stretch your bowstring? Show me those targets. They take a drink and let fly! The last one is the hardest. You look a bit wobbly there. Careful! Your luck will improve. You are a keen shot, Harvey. Your hand grows steadier with drink, where others lose their eye. Another round? Uh, not for me. My belly roils like a knot of eels. And I see three of you. I think I should walk this off. The cauldron is empty. I should tell Sutanka. Great Sutanka, your guests thirst for mead, yet the cauldron is dry. All gone? I never would have thought it possible, Gunnolder. Father? Open the vault. Instruct the thralls to bring more mead for my guests. Do they really need more, Father? Several are unconscious already. Do as I ask, daughter. Give them all they can drink. As you wish, I will open the vault. None will say that Sutunga is less than generous. None will be capable.
Kratos, cook the room down. When will these damned snows end? When you're damned complaining. Open. The mead awaits within. I heard a noise and... What are you doing here? Fate, Gunlotha. We are helpless to escape it. And we were fated to be here now, together. You and I? How? It makes no sense. The Nordnir spin their patterns, and we can only surrender. We are entwined, spun together. There's perfect sense in that. No, you tease and mock, but I do not believe your lies. Your only desire is the mead. You are a thief and an agent of chaos. I'll see you pay for this deceit. Guards! You're here to steal our secrets. The strange magic might the Aesir evade our doom. Hurricane has promised answers at the well of Mimir. Red-handed. Betrayer! Deceiver! 
I treated you as an honored guest, and this is how you repay me? I saw you at the feast, Loki. Small wonder you disguised yourself after all you have done. Someone needed to warn my people of the treachery in your heart. Sutungor, show this Aesir how the Jotnar deal with thieves. Come, embrace your death! You're not going anywhere, Harvey. What have you done with my daughter? For one such as you. Your bones will splinter beneath my boots. That eyes looks fragile. Deceiver! False tongue! Dishonorable trickster! Thankful it was me who took your meat and not Loki. What I do, I do for the safety of the Aesir and Vanir. You will change countless fates, Harvey, but not your own. We will see. Underestimated the heft of your balls, Oathbreaker. You dare show your face. Oathbreaker, I did to you what you did to my son. This is only fair. And Sutungar, what of him? Don't blame me for your own lack of character. You stole the mead. For the safety of my people, Loki. For Asir, for Vanir, for all of Asgard. But not for Jotnar. Not for me. You let the Yotna into Asgard. So many dead, all so you could smuggle in your son. He was not safe here. They knew what he was and knew what he would become. Just as you do. I swore to you I would not harm him. That is the truth. That is the truth now. But how it will gnaw at you, knowing that to kill my son will undo your doom. Release him, Harvey. Release Fenrir, or I swear, I will kill you, here, and now. You are out of favor, Strixer, and you are welcome to try. A 
I will feed your corpse to Fenrir. No quarter this time, Loki! You have gone too far! He will ravage all of Asgard! Curse you, Loki! We were like brothers once! You meant to have me killed! I will never forget that! Ragnarok, when you can die now. Ah, let's see if you fight as well as you lie. You might be the strongest, but I was ever the quicker one. to have me killed. I will never forgive that. When my son is loosed from his bondage, he will ravage all of Asgard. No quarter this time, Loki! You have gone too far! Finished. Curse you, Harvey. Your own distrust has undone you. Now go, and do not show your face again. I cannot be other than who I am. All this was fated. All this will happen again. But you will not be here to see it. Do not be so sure of that. The game is not over. The game is never over! The roots of the world tree Yggdrasil feed from the well of Mimir. I am close. Gone. So who knows what mischief. See him again soon. The probabilities lead us here. The calculations give us hope. Speaking with someone? Do you have the mead? I do. Must I drink it now? Not yet. For once you drink, your Hugur will take flight and be ever fixed. Drink only when the hour of your death approaches. Then why are we here? When Ragnarok has come and gone, this place will remain. Remain, and remember. Wise Mimir, Keeper of the Well, give me your counsel. You who seek immortality may find it within these waters. But there is a price. As always. The mead is not magic alone. 
It requires the sacred waters of Mimir's well to ferment into its final state. Before you take these waters, you must infuse them with the blood of the Asim. To remember you, it must know you. Surrender a part of yourself to the waters that nourish the world tree. Only then will you have that which you desire. You yourself have lost much for wisdom. Beheaded by those who did not value your learning. My Hugur is here. That is all that matters. I have learned to live incomplete. As will you. And if I make this sacrifice, what then? While death and ruin rage all around, the World Tree will keep you. Your body will die, but your Hugur will live on here. In time, you will be born anew. It birthed from the ashes of the old. Do you vouch for this strangeness? I must believe it, for there is one I love dearly who depends upon it. And there is no other way. None. It seems I have no choice. You never did. How much would you sacrifice to be freed of fate's shackles? Would you give your tongue, your hand, your sight? I would give all that and more. has been made. Whosoever drinks of the mead, the World Tree will remember them. And you? What is your sacrifice? My liberty. Sutungar and Gunlother will not forgive this trespass. They will hunt me now to the edges of the Nine Worlds. What are they to you? We ruled together for a time, a noble triad, as father, mother, and the sacred voice. Six times we tried to blunt the fangs of Ragnarok, and six times we failed. The mead was our seventh. But they feared how it might change the humans for the worse, so they locked it away and banished me from Utgardr. By your efforts, you have returned to me what is mine. The ashes of my husband. He made his own sacrifice for knowledge. With a few changes to this mead, I may undo old sorrows. Do as you will. I've had my fill of this cursed realm. Bright mind, heart's ease. Beloved, I will not fail you again. My work here is done. Now to Asgard, to save my people.
Come, settle your mind and tell me what you have seen. Strange things, Valka. I'm learning much and seeing more than my mind can understand. Go on. In Jotunheim, I sought and found a meat of incredible power. It promised me a strange effect. To drink it would deliver me from death. Shield me from the destruction of Ragnarok. By this meat, I hope to live beyond my own death, well into the future. Fascinating. Was that your final vision? They have not ended, not yet. Something compels me to return to Asgard. The elixir is ready when you are. Yes, but he's grown. I have kept him company, but he's consumed by a sadness I cannot understand. Regrettable, but necessary. I knew from the start this wolf brought ill tidings. From the start it was a kind creature. But our mistrust and cruelty have robbed the poor wolf of its sweetness and life. Would it be a kindness to kill it then? We are past the time for such mercy. This wolf has power now that would test our strengths combined. I fear he is possessed of a power that renders him ever-living. Then we will offer him a different fate. This cord is unbreakable. You must convince him to wear it. It will act as a leash whose magic will signal that he is safely secured. An assurance to the Aesir who fear him. A beacon, that is all. No harm will befall the poor Fenrir. Fenrir, yes. You know the creature's name. Did Loki tell you? He did. It is a fine name. Yes. Dweller of the Fens. An apt name for his current fate. Fenrir! A good word has come! <laughs> Leave me! I wish you well, Great Wolf. Here still hangs over Asgard. The Aesir worry about your growing size and strength. Do they now? And what do they have to be afraid of? Old friend. Harvey brings a collar fashioned by the dwarves. A beacon that we may track from a distance to know where you roam. Wear this, and you may live and thrive in Asgard, without worry. Oh, I smell something sour. Wear the color! Or return to Jotunheimer. There's no third way. Son of Loki, have I not treated you with kindness? We are bonded, you and I. And as I trust my king, so you may trust me. Open your mouth. As a pledge of faith, you may take my hand if I am untrue. Fair. Be swift, Harvey.
you speak in riddles. Blue gods turns red. Red with blue. <laughs>
know these things. This is the tale I tell myself. Each night in the cold and dark. Before I sleep and dream of tasting your flesh. I could not strike the killing blow. All my oaths remain unbroken. Anyone lesser would have succumbed to his hatred. If I could have done this any other way... There was no other way, Harvey. Our fates are fixed. Fate, I know. You made a great sacrifice on my behalf. It was not for you. Do not think your kindness has made you a new friend, Lord of Imbeciles. I will kill you, all of you, gorging on Aesir flesh. You may strike the final blow, son of Loki, but I will savor my years of freedom before we meet again. <laughs> Come, old friend. The healing hands of Freya can help you. Have you come to say what I fear? Not to say, but to show a vision of the times to come. None living or dead now equal our heavy in arrogance. To believe that you could remake your fate thus. For all your efforts, for all your struggles, the threads of fate still bind you as tightly as ever. And yet, from this pattern, a single strand escapes the fray. And stubbornly clings to the weave. Esir, Vanir, your as fire rains upon your heads, and the great wolf Fenrir will feast upon your blood. 
But you have found a way to live beyond this terror. Let it flow. To cheat your death. From the life tree we go, to the life tree we shall one day return. Mind and spirit will search to a time far beyond your own. To a time in which you shall be reborn. None may follow. Loki least of all. It is done. Time to face our end. <laughs>